Sam Lou with another episode of My Car Story and today we're in Pebble Beach with an amazing Ferrari, you'll find out. And I'm with Doug. Doug, please share with them who you are and where you're from. Hi, my name is Doug Delano and I'm from Reno, Nevada. And what museum are you connected with? We're connected with the Robert M. Lee Trust. You're going to love this car. And let's. what's the year, make, and model of this one? 1948 Ferrari Barchetta M. 166M. Now let's go to our feature attraction. Guys, I'm going to drop back just a second as we video this car. So we've got the 1966M, and this one, well, it's unique because it's serial number 0002, the second Ferrari ever. So let's take a look at this. You can see that wonderful badge, Super Leggera, which means lightweight all aluminum, correct? Correct. Tell me the details of this car that I need to know. Step back from it and get a shot of it. Come on, right with me. Tell me what we need to know about this car. This is the first car that did not have detachable bike fenders or a, a cigar-styled cigar body on it. This is a, the first um, production car or a prototype for the Barquettas. There's also the first pro, or first Ferrari that's been in an auto show, the Turin show and the Paris show, both in 1948. This is the first car that was imported to the U.S. after Tommy Lee bought it from Luigi Cinetti at the Paris Car Show. It arrived. Let's step back one more chance, and I think we got a better shot to get the full body in. And you can hear it's pretty windy out here. Wow. Amazing. Picking a little car like that, right? Disc brakes. Drum brakes. Drum brakes at the time. All right. Five-speed transmission, minimal gear or minimal instrumentation. The right amount of pedals down there. Now, Doug, have you ever driven this car? I have driven this car several times. What's the reaction when you're driving this? A lot of thumbs up, a lot of waving, a lot of just staring. Yeah, right? I mean, even here at the Concorde, this is something quite unique and special. Look at the little baby back to it. Tell me why the tail lights are different colors. Back then, they didn't run. They didn't run lights as say two brake lights and two marker lights. Yeah. So we have a brake light on the right, and yes, it is yellow, and then the marker or tail light on the right, which is red. It's amazing how uh, so. The prancing horse, where did the idea come from? Was that from the earlier cars that he raced in? Okay. Our viewers will tell us. All right. And maybe we, uh, let me take one more step back and we'll get a shot of the side of this one. They can take pictures at the same time. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Number two. Let's uh, pop the hood, shall we? It's a long story, but in essence, college Wow. And there you go. Notice number 0002M. Wow. There you've got the air intake box. Still so beautiful. Two magnetos. What's the, uh, what do we have here? How many, uh, am I looking at a 10 cylinder? 12 cylinder. 12 cylinder. 1.5 liter. 1.5 liter. Was this strictly a race car at the time, or was it? No, prototype at the time. The reason that we have a 1.5 liter in it is because the engine that was supposed to be in it, a 2 liter, the 166 designation, the engine wasn't ready. It wasn't ready when it got to the Paris Auto Show where it was bought. The engine has stayed with the car for its life. Can we fire it? We can fire it. All right, let's fire it. 
Anything specific you need to do to fire it, except nope. get your feet in that little tiny spot. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Neutral. Yeah. Find the key again. All right, take your time. There's no rush. I'm going to go to the other side. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, all right. Take care. Yes. Feels good. Feels wonderful. For you. Sad, I'm not the littlest guy that That's gets out of this right. car. Doug, I wouldn't mind closing it for a shot, would you? No, we'll get to that. Hang on. Yeah. Did you have something you, you need to show? No, he Good. just wanted the hood shut. Got it. Thanks so much for being on the channel. What a treat. You're welcome. Everybody enjoy. We actually had one as a best of show some years ago on a thank you test. The only sick, the only sister car to be exhibited at the Olympia Motor Show in 1929. This is designed to knock it off. Really? Who are they? 